Hey guys, Zor here from ZorGameGeek.com, and I'm here to talk to you about primer. When you're painting miniatures, the important second step, first step is washing your miniatures to get all those oils off. The important second step for any miniature job is primer. Primer is essential unless you get miniatures that are pre-primed, but most of them do not. So the big debate within miniature painting circles is white primer versus black primer. So today I'm going to show you the difference of what the same miniature looks like when coated with black primer versus white primer. And then we're going to talk about the practical effects or differences between those two options and why in reality I actually don't pick either. It's important when applying primer not just to think about what you're spraying but what's behind it that you are also spraying. And so then when I'm prime, I use this uh, Amazon box that I've cut out as a little spray booth. So that way, as I spray, it will not get the items behind it covered in, pr in, in primer and paint. So when, 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 when applying primer, one, you got to shake the can. You can hear me shaking the can back here to, to make sure there's good. And you actually want to start off to the side to make sure you have a nice even flow and... Oops, you see what happened right there? My miniature got blown over by the force of the paint. A good solution to that is getting a little bit of sticky tack and putting it underneath. Unfortunately, I couldn't find my sticky tack. So here we are trying to do the best we can without it. And you may be in the same boat as me, and so we're just going to apply nice even coats. Oops. And actually, sometimes having it go over like this is good because then you can use it to get the underneath surfaces of your miniature. Now we're gonna let, let it dry for a few moments and then we will paint the backside of the skeleton. All right, we're back. The front side of the skeleton has dried and now we're going to spray the back with primer. This time I'm gonna try not to knock it over. There we go. You can see the dust spraying around. And now I'm gonna get the top. And then I'm gonna get the back side over here. And now I'm gonna get the front side, make sure that this is a good even coat. So now you can see that I have primed all sides and now we're going to wait a few moments to let it dry some more. It's important when you're done to inspect to make sure that you got a thorough paint in, uh, a coating of the miniature. And you can see right here on the bow that I did not get a thorough coat. And then there's also a spot, a little harder to see here on the front of the uh, quiver that also is not covered. So I'm gonna need to come back in and spray it one more time to get a complete coverage of the primer. All right, we're back from priming the first miniature white. Let me tell you why you should use white primer. It covers better in terms of not the primer itself, because that's your spray job, but when you put the paint over the primer, the paint covers better. That means that you need less coats to hide the white underneath, because it's already a light white behind it, and most paints, acrylic paints, are a little translucent. They, you need a couple of thinner layers to be able to build that depth of color up. And with white paint, you don't need to worry about having too many layers and losing some of the details of the miniature. The downside with white paint, white primer, is that if you miss a spot, it's really obvious under light. Black primer, mm, yes as well. But with white primer, you definitely, definitely are going to see those missed spots, especially if they're in kind of the deeper areas that you want to be in shadow, but with the white, they just burst out. And so with that, we're now going to go through the process of priming a black miniature. All right, guys, I'm back with a black miniature. And as you can see here, um, it is dark. And the good thing, as I was saying earlier, is with a black miniature, if you happen to miss a spot, especially deep in these crevices, it's gonna be less noticeable because it's already dark. 
It's already black and you can pass that off as, oh, it's some shading. Here's the problem that I don't like with black primer. And that problem is detail. Once you start painting, the colors from your paint are gonna pick up some of that detail and you're gonna be able to see what's going on with the miniature. But at first, you're gonna miss a lot of details because there's not a lot of contrast here because of the black paint, the black primer. And so it's gonna be harder to see. And let me bring up the skeleton. Now, while the skeleton has a lot less going on with it, it's a little easier to see that contrast. Sometimes that contrast gets lost some with the white as well, but you're much more likely to lose that contrast and that sense of, of depth and shading that you get with white paint when you use black paint. And by paint, I mean primer. All right, there you have it, guys. There is the difference between white primer and black primer. Now, I said that I was gonna tell you how I actually don't really use either. What my preference is, is after using white or black primer, is I get a little bit of gray paint on my dry brush. And I just lightly dry brush the uh, miniature with that gray paint to create some of that contrast we were talking about so that you can pick up those details and plan accordingly as you think about what colors you're going to use for different parts of the miniature. Uh, because I have been surprised too many times as I'm painting in and all of a sudden as I'm painting other areas I'll say oh hey there's something new in this miniature boy I need to start over a little bit and incorporate or do something slightly different with my colors to bring it in so I actually do a combination of either white or black primer with some gray dry brushing over the top again just to lightly highlight those differences. If you want to learn more about my five basic uh, painting techniques for beginner painters, please visit www.zorgamegeek.com slash five. Again, if you want to learn more, visit zorgamegeek.com slash five. See you next time.